Hello Leo, welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing a video reading for the month of September. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always, I will shuffle live. Remember these are general readings so please take only what resonates and check out your sun, moon, rising sign or whatever sign you are focused on on your chart at the moment. Okay, if this does not resonate with you at all, please consider clicking the subscribe button so I am better able to embrace your energies during the reading. For those who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for being the heartbeat of this channel. And for those who have liked, shared, and commented, thank you for letting me know that these readings resonate with you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for everyone who has donated, looks like you guys are in a sticky situation. Um, for everyone who has donated, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate your support. And if you are interested in giving me a thanks and uh, or a donation for the reading, feel free to go ahead and click on the description box below. And the link is going to be in the box. You guys, it's like you guys go through smooth, well, not smooth, but not so friction-based moments, and then some really choppy waters. It, see how, how this is going? Hmm, very interesting. All right. Your overall card is number 18, Raising Winds. Magical release, calling, intention, and stronghold. You know, the number 18 is compiled of the number one and eight. Number one talks about a higher power or intuition. And did I say the number eight? No, that's the number one. I am so sorry. And number eight is about uh things falling into place or uh fate in its totality it adds up to the number nine which is talking about uh, a release and what i'm getting here is that you see things are falling in line you sense that things are falling in line for you to let go of something that's really what i'm getting it's it's like i'm getting the winds of change is what I'm getting with this card. And you feel it. You sense it. We have the Ace of Wands. You sense it's time for a new beginning. You sense that it is time for a new beginning, Leo. What's going on? I can see that you're ready, but... There's a gap right now. There's a gap. You know you have to get to the other side, but there's a gap here. Look. See that gap right here? You're trying to figure out how to get over there. It feels like... Your days and nights are blending. This doesn't have to be and like, it's like, it's such a long day or it's so just dragging that it feels like it goes on forever. For some of you, it feels like you're living a nightmare and your happiness simultaneously. I don't have a good example for that, but that's what I'm getting as well. It's like, let's say you're in a relationship. You love the person that you're with, but you could see how it could be so much better. If only fill in the blank or you're at a job and you're not terribly I mean, you like it, it's, it's good, you know, but fill in the blank, whatever that but means for you. 
you know, something could be better. And it looks like whatever this is, you're ready to move on to something else, but it feels like you're trying to calculate how you're going to get across. This one's peeking out at me. Look at all your cards in reverse. Every single one of your cards are in reverse. Including the card underneath. The Hierophant in reverse. This could be talking about a divorce or a separation from whatever it is you're, you're in. You leaving some sort of institute here, you know, work. It, it, even let's say you're in, oops, just kidding. Let's say you are in uh, college, right? Perhaps you're leaving college, you know, and you're doing something different, whatever that looks like, okay? Let's take a look at your card we have. Wow. One, two, three, four, four major arcanas. We have the King of Wands, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Wow. You have the oh, I'm not even gonna say in reverse because they're literally all in reverse. The devil, queen of wands, the world, emperor. King of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Hierophant, all in reverse. Holy cow. You know that a change needs to happen. It's not happening, though. You're being, you're, it's like you, you push the pause button, is what it feels like. It feels like you, you've pressed the, the pause button here, Leo. It feels like you're trapped in this web. Whatever this web is, you feel trapped in some sort of way, shape, or form. Not to say that you don't, you can't get out of it. You know that you can if you really, really, really wanted to for most of you. But it, it feels like you're trying to figure out the best way to get out of it. You're not as... You're not as... Sprightly is the word that comes to mind. You're not as sprightly as you typically are. It's almost like you have a fake smile on. Like, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. But it really isn't. And it feels like it's getting more and more difficult to do that. There has, there's been so much shift in your world right now. Like in your whole life, there's a lot going on, you know, and, and it's funny because here you are trying to balance things out and you're like, oh yeah, it's fine. But one thing is outweighing the other by a lot. It feels like you're holding on, to, you're like a thread. You're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're hanging on by a thread. You're, you, you're about to lose your ish. Is what I'm getting like you are holding on by a thread you're losing your patience and whatever this situation is it feels like you're also losing your love for it it's like your love is dwindling away it's like your fire is going out in regards to this situation whatever this situation is okay Oh, hold on. A card just fell. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Yep. There is, there's lies, there's deceit. And this could be coming from you. Like you saying, oh, okay, well, things will get better. Or, you know, if I hold on for a little bit longer, I'm able to you know, see a little bit more joy or whatever. But for the most part, I feel like there's manipulation here. There is 
there's lies around you. I don't feel like you're the one necessarily saying lies externally. I feel like you're just kind of like lying to yourself about this situation. But for the most part, I'm getting the sense that there's lies around you, like lies being spread. Like the tangled webs we weave, right? Look, there's people weaving all sorts of webs around you. And you're like, I just want to get the hell out of here. All right. Card for the Queen of Wands, please. Okay. I mean, seriously, you want a change, but you don't know how to. You want the cycle to end. You don't know how to. Or you don't want to. Or you're resisting or fill in the blank. Whatever this is, there isn't. I feel like there's a marriage here because I'm seeing a diamond, even though this is the moon, I'm, I'm seeing the diamond and an acorn turns into an oak tree. There's no growth here. There's a lack of growth. Page of swords. I'm telling you, you're ready to cut the, cut the cord. But again, you're not making a move. It's almost like you are observing, buying your time almost with this page of swords, observing, watching. It's, it's like you're collecting information, you're collecting data and not to harm anybody. I feel like this is just to make sure that you have done everything you possibly could in order to save this relationship or this job, or perhaps if you're wanting to leave this job, you're trying to find the right job that aligns with you before you leave, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. Knight of wands in reverse. Somebody just feels so childish and immature. And it also feels like they are, <sighs> incompetent in a lot of ways. Wh whomever this is. Yeah, King of Wands, you, you certainly aren't feeling centered like at all look at this queen queen of cups king of cups wow looks like you're about to get your masculine uh energies up and going five of swords at the bottom of the deck you're about to do whatever it takes or at least you feel you're able to do whatever it takes to leave this situation as long as it's right for you. But when you do, you're going to try to do it as peacefully as you possibly can. All right. Advice. Advice here for my beautiful Leo's advice for Leo. Wow. One more. Let me tell you. Bam. Ten of coins, ten of cups. You could do this. You can do this. Listen, yes, this is a hard decision to make, right? Will it be easy? No, it's not going to be easy. Will it look like, um, will it look like, I feel like a lot of people are actually going to be quite disappointed whomever, whatever this situation, I feel like there's going to be a lot of this people disappointment. I also feel like there's going to be a lot of people just talking nonsense about you. And I feel like you will be like incognito for a little bit. Like you're like, you walk away for a little bit and you're like, okay, I just kind of need to gather myself, but you start fresh. I, and this is saying you are able to start fresh. You can, but it's up to you. Start with small steps. 
okay? And look, look at what you're able to build. You're happily ever after. You start with very little, but you start gaining that momentum. You start building upon whatever this new thing is. Decide. Decide. Because you're not happy. And it doesn't matter what you do. People are going to talk trash talk anyways. Because there's people talking all sorts of snap. Because you're not going to be able to please everybody. For some of you, get off your high horse and just go get her done. For some of you, they're telling me here that some of you may be like, oh, you know, a marriage is forever and blah, 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 blah. Yes, I completely understand that, you know, you made a promise and you've done everything that you could. Now, if you look, you've done everything that you possibly could have done and it's still going downhill, why are you, I mean, it's not okay for you to feel this way. I mean, at all. Sometimes you have to do what is right for you, your spirit. Because right now it feels like you're being dragged down. All right, final message for Leo here. Final message for Leo. This is not the one, it's this one. Snow Leopard, self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Remember I said, I don't know where I said it, but I said something about, I think it was here. It's like some of you are just kind of walking away, kind of, you know, I said here that you guys are observing and you're trying to do things as rightly as possible, right? Like integrity. This is like you're leaving, but you're going to leave with integrity whenever you're ready. You're going to do it with integrity. But I also said something about um, like kind of being incognito here. And it's like it, you're wearing your invisibility cloak. If I were you, I would go ahead and snap an image of this particular card and let this be your mantra for the month. All right, my beautiful Leos, I hope this did resonate. If it did, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until we meet again, bye.